let's take a look at this. This is a great presentation, by the way. I really love this, how you have the front and three quarter, the long side, but then for details, the bigger side view. I think that's great. You might even, no, actually you have a big, you have a big front view there. So this is great. This would be my absolute go-to way of presenting things. It's a cute walk too. Um, let me see, you had some questions here. Especially the last one here. Is it too slow in your opinion? It just kind of, that kind of depends what you're going for with your feel. Do you want to do, to me, if there wasn't that much, whoa, that was a weird line, uh, that much bobbing in the head, and it would just be the head like this without the searching, this feels, feels like it's kind of searching around. So without that, it would feel like a depressed walk. Wait, you even have the, <laughs> the little presentations there, the footprints. Yeah, so it, it has kind of a, it's definitely slow, and without that, it would feel, it would add to the kind of a slow, depressed, sad feel because of um, the lower head. So, let's see here. Can I play back speed? Huh, I can increase just with the plus. You know, if it's something like that, where this to me feels a bit more active and it's searching, I think if you do, especially if you would do something longer, like from, from this view, it would look up every now and then, and then go back down. And even on the way up, you could almost slow down the walk a bit, and then as it looks back down, you speed up again. That would have a more of a, an active search feel to it. And let me go back to normal. See, versus that, that seems very, very slow. Unless, you know, unless that's what you're going for. Unless you you want to do, that's your main pose, where it's always kind of tilted, and it's always kind of sad, and every now and then it has those side-to-side -side moves, but not as much as here. Um, yeah, so it kind of depends on you. Would you decrease the extremes of the head? Uh, I'm just going through your questions here. So, like I said, that would just depend on what you're trying to do. This has the searching feel. But then it kind of goes against the speed of what you have right there. How would you make the wings for chicken walking? Because usually they're pretty stable and still close to the body. Yeah, I was just going to say. Um, so if you have... It, it kind of depends again. If you're going for a depressed slow walk, I would have them not so pressed. Just a bit open, one more than the other. And then, let me see here. Maybe that in a more drooping fashion so everything is kind of low and down and it kind of um, mimics the uh, emotional state of mind versus if you go for for a faster walk I will keep them like this pressed and then every now and then you can have a slight adjustment and maybe even like a, a little bit of a flutter not like trying to, to you know lift off and fly but just some adjustments you know when it does like a bigger move over then it could kind of adjust the wings a bit then every now and then it'll kind of move one and then you move the other. So I have some nice offsets in there, depending on how long you want your, you know, your cycle to be. If it's just one or two changes, then it cycles the whole thing. Or you have this longer, you know, a longer section with more variety. Where if I would say, you know, look down, look up every now and then and then look down again. That kind of depends. But I would look at it, <coughs> excuse me, in this case, you could almost think of it as... Um, and I could be totally wrong, this is very subjective, but I would treat them as puppy ears. They're almost an extension of the emotion. You can kind of use them to emphasize and push the emotion. Um, and then you have, which parts can I maybe push in the walk? I don't know, it all kind of depends on the speed again. The thing is, if you do, let's pretend this is the speed that you want and you want this then to me what's fighting is that you have those very harsh quick mo uh, movements in the head but the very smooth movements in the body so it wouldn't be a, a pushing per se in terms of style to me it would be a, a bit more appropriate connection of body mechanics so if you have a quick move through here it's going to move the body over 
you know, in a, in a quick fashion as well. It wouldn't be very fast and jerky, not as jerky as the head, because then you're going to lose the weight. But if I move over quickly with my head, it's going to move my chest over, if, I, if you do it as a human. So in your case, you do a quick body move, then it would have a bit of an influence in a slight rotation and translate. If you look at it, it's, let's go at the beginning here. So look just at this part, you can see how active the head is, but it feels very disconnected from the body. And you can probably stylize the back and forth a bit, given that it's such a big body with small little feet. There's something for me where you could do, you hold, hold, hold as it swings over this way, and then right as it takes a step, vroom, a faster move over to the left for the weight shift, hold, hold, hold. So in this case, like right around here-ish, it would be further maybe around here, and then on that step, uh, do a faster transit over. So the rhythm, like right now, it feels more like versus sounds like a race car. <laughs> That's kind of the idea. So it kind of, I would readjust in terms of speed, uh, um, depending on what you want to do uh, emotionally. Is it just sad? Or is it going to look for something? Or, like, why is it looking down? To me, it felt like, hmm, it's looking. Because of the head, because the head accents are so big. That's where my eye was going. Like, it's looking around. But then you look at this, and I was going, hmm, it feels kind of slow. Or, it's really big. And then you would have, you know, you would have a human that's this tall. So, it kind of, you can make it, you know, where you have... Houses and that's not a house. I don't know what I was drawing here. Lampshades, some benches and humans. You know, like and you can make this some some weird old school sci-fi movie where you know giant tall chickens are roaming the streets. I mean it really all depends on what you want to do. The emotion, the scale. Um, but just right now it has a bit of a disconnect for me between the head and the body. Alright, that is kinda it. Other than that, it's 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 great. Like I like how you have the rotations in the feet already. You have a little bit of an arc outside. You can probably on here on your next pass as it pushes, not right on impact, but then as it puts the weight on it, you can spread the toes a bit. And what you can do is you can be you can do a little bit of spreading through here, right as it puts the weight on it, and then as it lifts off this, there's again extra weight on it where you do a little bit more again, some spreading there. <clears throat> Yeah, and I would just have the body reacting to the head more, depending on what you want to do. I think the tail could be just a bit snappier, kind of like the head. I would go a bit more towards that. It feels, again, a bit soft. It almost a bit overlappy. Oh, right there. There's something There's something soft and overlappy where... Like it has this weird double bounce that's not in the body either. So it feels like the tail is doing its own thing. <clears throat> so really, again, all depends what you want to do. If it's all depressed and slow moving left to right, then I will make this the driving force with these guys reacting to it. If it's searching, then I will keep this, but have this react more to that since that's the leading part. But I would still have this reacting to what the body's doing. There's something, again, a bit too... Um, independence and it feels like there is more translates in this tail through here than uh, rotation I, would, I don't know I would, I would put in more rotations like this you know as it wants to go up and down versus translates I think that's kind of it if you're going for fast I think you're <clears throat> the amount of up and down in your route is would be okay if you go if you just go a bit faster at this speed i feel like you can go just a bit lower and then rip and just a bit higher on your passing so a bit more up and down in the route because the faster creature runs forward the less side to side you're going to have because of balance <clears throat> and a bit le less up and down and i think if you're going slower if you're going slower you're gonna have definitely more side to side because um 
of the balance and the speed of it, but it can then also push the, what's it called, the, um, the up and down. And if you are going faster, let me just see. If you're gonna go faster, you can probably also slightly overlap where those legs are going. So again, if a creature, I mean, it's almost like a human too, but it's mostly creaturey. Uh, as the creature goes really, really fast, the steps are going to be closer. Again, for speed and balance, it needs less balance because it's so fast. But if you're going slow, it's going to spread out the stance of um, the legs because of balance, right? So I would just look at, again, look at what you want to portray. What's the emotion? What's what do you want to go for in terms of um, just creature emotional state, or if you're going for an uh, character acting type of thing on the creature and then that will determine uh, more of your, your speed and movement and then because of that you're gonna have to adjust some of the body mechanics all right that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you